Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So today I'm going to show you what I got in Spain while I spent the whole week with my mum and celebrated my birthday. So I have some birthday presents and I wanted to shop in Massimo Dutti for my birthday. But I have some other little bits and pieces. So let's start with this dress. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen that dress. And also, if you watch my Monday vlog from Spain, you would have seen me in this dress also. My mum loved it so much that then she went and got herself one as well. Bought this in Koala Bay. I've checked online. This is not something available in the UK. I think it's just like a Spanish shop, so I can't give you a link to that. But I saw this hanging in a window and I really loved it. It's not a colour that I would usually wear. It's not a pattern that I would usually wear, but I really, really love the shape of it. So it has a collar, the buttons start here, so it's got nice deep v-neck. It has three quarter length sleeves, little tie, but it's really lovely fitted and it's very long. The buttons go straight down through to about here. And it's just so flowy and so lovely for warm weather. It also seems to have a bit of stretch. It's a, I don't know what fabric that is, but it's quite shiny. Um, but yeah, it has a bit of stretch in it. So I wore it mostly with my flat sandals, uh, but obviously you could wear it with a heel. It moves really nicely and I love it that it has that fit. Even if I take the belt off, it still has that fit, you know, that is sort of in and out. Then I bought a few pieces of jewellery. Um, if you live in Spain, I've been to Spain, you probably have heard of this shop, it's called Mira Mira and it's just loads of jewellery. I was like a magpie. I don't need really any more jewellery and it's not very expensive. I would say the pieces were between 15 and 20 euros. So I bought these earrings. They are just like chunky hoops. I got this little necklace and the flat snake chain. This this is from Miss Oma London. So I don't know why I bought that because I actually have a real gold chain like this snake. But I wanted I wanted them in different thicknesses. I bought three of them. So here is one that is even thicker and one really thin. I also bought this pair of earrings which I thought were really cute. And then I went to this boutique. Do you remember years ago, I bought these gorgeous earrings that look like some sort of blossom, but they are quite big and a bit more dressy. And this year they had just stud ones like this. They are white, so I don't know if you can see them very well. But these are just studs, so they are a bit sort of everyday earrings. So that was that for jewellery. So you might have seen in a vlog that then we went to Mijas. And Mijas, it's a beautiful, beautiful village with these tiny cobble streets. Um, and they are famous for selling leather handbags and non-leather, faux leather and leather jackets. I didn't want leather jacket. I'm not that into leather jackets, but I like bags, obviously. So the first bag I bought was this hobo bag. It's gorgeous. Can you see it's like a laser cut? It's so soft. And I thought this was leather, but when he told me that it was 20 euros, I knew it wasn't, but it feels and it looks like leather. Even the inside, looks like suede 
it's very light very soft and the handles here are so padded really comfortable so for 20 euros it's got a a magnetic clasp you get this hobo bag with this bag inside that also has a strap a bit boring i wouldn't necessarily wear it as a bag but i would just put all my stuff in it treat it as a almost wallet you know my money my phone and put it in here because inside you know you wouldn't be able to find anything once you once you filled it up because it's obviously just a big hole but it has a proper structured bottom so it's lovely to find everything also has two zips on the side so you can make it bigger if you fill it up with stuff so you know when i say when we go on holiday here in the uk with louis when i go out when we go walking just walking um hiking i wear a rucksack to put all louis snacks and bottle of water and stuff like that but if i have something nicer on and we're just going for lunch or to town i want some bag that looks quite nice and I can put everything in it so this is perfect and um, it's very light so even if I fill it up with stuff it's still very comfortable and these are so padded so love love this bag and at the same time I phoned my mom because we went on our own and I showed her all the colors and, and asked her if she would want one and she chose a tan one so I bought her one of those as well and um, she liked it so much and then she said oh i would like to go there and have a look at handbags so we went back another day to mihas and i bought two more bags now three so i bought two more of those hobo bags i bought beige one because that will go with everything in the summer or even in the winter and then i bought the tan one as well love them so much and then I bought this little bag so again when I just running out doing errands I want something small because I don't even have a wallet I just have a card holder phone and keys that's all I need and this one was so cute they came in so many color com combinations but you know how I like my neutrals uh, you can unclip these so you've got shorter and longer strap so I can wear it on my shoulder as well like this um, it doesn't open here from the front it has a magnetic clasp at the back so that's quite good yes yeah, beautiful so if you're ever in the southern Spain and you can even take a bus to go there you should always visit Mijas and Bela Maldena next to it okay then i bought myself uh, these boots these are stretchy suede boots they have sort of western heel pointy toe i absolutely love this type of boots i used to have a couple of pairs but you know because of, they are suede i had them for years they've gone a bit you know scuffed i had to throw them away so i bought a pair of those let me just put them on so they are just below the knee really comfortable and what i love that they stay on you know very often these type of boards they slip down uh, these stay on really nicely and they are so nice to wear you know with a with a skirt if i had a shorter skirt or you can tuck in skinny jeans or even leggings so really really love them i bought them in a shop called I think it's Gaudi or Gaudi, it's spelled G-O-D-Y. I always buy shoes in that shop. It's on a Malaga main street in the Malaga centre. Uh, it's near Massimo Dutti and it's slightly set back. So if you're ever in Malaga, have a look in that shop. Okay, now let me show you what Paul got me for my birthday. So this will be all Massimo Dutti so i got this top i don't know what fabric it is but it's quite quite heavy 
it's like a crepe crepe you won't be able to see it because it's so white uh, but I love the paneling and this little detail and the gorgeous sleeves so I chose this top then I will put it all on in a minute so I've been looking for velvet bootcut trousers and that's what these are these are sort of skinny they are bootcut I wouldn't say they are flare no they are bootcut um, beautiful trousers they have zip and, and button fastening at the front. Really, really gorgeous. They are quite long, so I would wear them with heels, but I always wear bootcut stuff with heel. And then I got another pair of velvet trousers, but these are more like a uh, wide leg. <laughs> and you might say, why do you need two pairs of velvet trousers? They are very different. This is like the proper thick velvet and this is, you know, that sort of thin, slightly shimmery, um, very flowy velvet, much thinner, if you know what I mean. And this, these ones are really nice. They have elasticated waist at the back and they have a proper zip and a button. So they are not just pull-on trousers. I just feel like these two, like these I would wear for every day. These are more, I would say, party type of trouser, going out trouser, although you can do it in, in this as well. So let me show you these two pairs with that white top. So here is the top. I'm wondering now if I could have done it with a smaller one. This, this is in size medium, but I, t I think it's supposed to be that sort of relaxed look. I just... I just love everything about it. It's quite heavy and drapey. It's very boxy, so I've just tucked it in. And these are the thicker velvet trousers. Uh, they are very long. I have really, I have really high heels on. So I might take them up a bit because I wouldn't wear high heels like this. I just need to try them with my boots that have a bit smaller heel and then maybe um, shorten them to that size. So they are actually quite, they have pockets as well. Would you call them flares or boot cut? I don't know. But I think they are just gorgeous and they have stretch in them. So they are very, very comfortable as well. Absolutely love them. And velvet is so much in this year. I don't think velvet ever goes out of fashion, especially for going out. So yes, I absolutely love this top. Love the sleeves. They have little slits here. And uh, by the way, all the trousers are in UK size 10, which is US 6. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe I should have got that top smaller. I think if I got it smaller, maybe the sleeves would be a bit, the sleeves would be a bit um, shorter. Doesn't matter, I like it as it is anyway. Okay, let me now put the other velvet trousers on. So these ones are obviously much more flowy. They are just wide leg, much thinner, very, very comfortable. They have this elasticated waist at the back. Uh, they don't have any pockets. So yeah, I would say that these are more, you know, put with a sequin shirt or something for your Christmas party. And these are very long as well. Yeah, they actually drag on the floor even with these high heels so I will definitely have them taken up and then I got this polo style jumper I don't know if this is wool I got it in UK size small or 10 yeah this is in small and then I got flared jeans as well. So I've been looking for a flared pair of jeans everywhere. 
and I like them quite skinny on a thigh and then go out but sometimes they are far too skinny on a thigh and really really wide at the bottom it's so hard just to get the right shape and I think I got it with those and I really like the color of them as well again these are in size UK 10 which is US 6 and the jumper is small so let me put that on okay so this is the top I quite like this polo shirt style it's not too long it's just below my belly button and I also love the three-quarter sleeves and here are the jeans these are extremely long as well I have the highest heels that I could ever wear and I think they are still dragging on the floor uh, but I really love the shape of them because I have white hips and a lot of flare jeans go really really tight right to the knee and then flare up so it emphasizes my hips and everything whereas these sort of gently from about here go wider and I really like the color yes so I definitely have to have them taken up probably about that much yeah those jeans also are so so stretchy i don't know if they have that four-way stretch but oh my goodness feel really soft so these were my birthday presents from my husband from massimo duty i love every single item i just have to take up these trousers um all three of them because they are a bit too too long and i don't wear huge heels like that for every day I probably wear something like this and like a block heel so it's more comfortable these are my old Zara boots okay my lovely so this is all that I have bought in Spain I love my Massimo Duty stuff this stuff obviously you can get here in the UK online or physical store I don't have one near me so I will leave you links for the items that I bought uh, Paul also got himself loads of stuff so don't feel sorry for himself for a minute I think he actually got more things than I did <laughs> okay my lovelies I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye